Today we will discuss about facade pattern. Facade is a structural type of pattern in which uh, you facilitate your user, your client, your customer uh, by providing a simplified interface. Uh, interface means uh, where your client, customer or user interact with that. The outer layer of your product is called a facade of that product. Uh, this is an example that uh, a facade of ATM. Uh, this is a one kind of facade, this is an another kind of facade, and this is an another kind of facade. This is the outer interface uh, which uh, provide uh, the user to, uh, which provide facilitation to your user that uh, to interact with the system. It reduces the complexity that user don't know how the implementation works. Uh, what are the formulas, what are the conditions uh, behind the scene and behind uh, implementation. Uh, this is the interface where a client can withdraw, pay their, depo uh, pay their bills, deposit their amount, and uh, uh, have some other options. But behind the scene, they don't know about the implementation, how the tax calculation performs by the system, and how the actual amount balance checked by the system, how the system performed the bill calculations and bill payments. So this is the outer interface where client interact is. It is called the facade of your uh, system. If you change uh, the outer interface by, by more interactive or more innovative, so it means you simply change the facade of the system. So, let's implement uh, uh, through your UML diagrams. So, uh, first of all, uh, we have a customer or a client class that interacts with the system. It's a simple class, and uh, customer interact with some in kind of interface, and maybe we implement a travel package application, travel package facade. The customer only interact with this facade, so it has a direct association with this interface. Then there, uh, there is a concrete class of that facade interface. Is, uh, Every interface is implemented through a concrete class. So interface means a set of unimplemented functions. So this interface contains the function of book in which you may have to book the hotel, flight, cab. So this package uh, uh, books all the things uh, behind the scene, but customer only select the packages by booking, uh, uh, booking from the interface that, that provided uh, to the system. So this uh, class in, is inherit the functionality of uh, that interface. And uh, this concrete class is uh, implemented through uh, several interfaces. So this inherit the functionality. So we have a three interface, for example, our travel package includes cab booking option, our travel package includes flight booking option. Our travel package includes hotel booking option. And all these interfaces are associated because this travel package implemented class is nothing without these three interfaces. Uh, they, they contain information from this interface these interfaces. So these all three interfaces 
contain the implementation class of uh, the functionality. So these all interfaces contain a function of book. Uh, it's a book cab book. We put the some general name that like book. You can name that it uh, like cab book, and uh, you can say flight book. Return type flight initially, and you can say book. So, all the interfaces are implemented through some concrete classes, and this is a class for cab booking, and uh, this is a class for flight booking. And this is the class for hotel booking. <clears throat> the all these uh, cla uh, classes uh, override the functions of their interface methods. So we must name them just like interfaces. And book. So all these three classes are the concrete classes of their interfaces. So they they inherit the functionality from their interfaces. So we can connect them through inheritance interface arrow. So this is the general representation of the facade pattern. So here you can see that uh, only by changing the facade of the system, uh, and you uh, you can change uh, you can not change the implementation of the system. You have to change the facade of the system, and the rest of the functionality uh, are the same. And uh, might be possible that you have. To change some kind of functionality or the tax rates or the payment bills, uh, and to here you can include the method of calculate bills. So all these uh, methods here, uh, the calculations here are added here. So we can calculate the bill of the travel package, and customer have the option to choose one of their package from the uh, from the facade. So facade is just like a. It, a simplified interface uh, you, uh, that uh, that connects the subsystem that it is, it is uh, just like a wrapper class that uh, encapsulate a subsystem in order to uh, hide the subsystem's complexity these are the subsystem and act as a point of entry into a system without adding more functionality in itself the wrapper class allows a client class to interact with the system with the subsystem through the facade a facade might be compared metaphorically to a waiter or a salesperson or who hide all the extra work to be done in order to purchase goods or services. And here you can see the facade uh, facilitate the user by hiding the complexity of uh, all the booking elements like car booking or flight booking or the hotel booking. So a facade pattern should therefore be used if there is need to simplify the interaction with the subsystem of a client. If you have to interact with the subsystem, the facade provide that kind of facilita uh, facilitation. So we have the code example for you that we created a customer class that uh, only interacts with the facade interface and facade concrete class. That is an instance of my package. So we have a facade interface that contains only the book method. And we have uh, already have three interfaces like uh, car booking, fl uh, flight booking, this is not here. And uh, hotel booking. So all, all these are the three interfaces and uh, there uh, and uh, the another is a facade interface that is called a book. So we have to we have created the three concrete classes of the we have created the three concrete classes of the system for these interfaces that are our car booking that implemented the car book successfully and the hotel booking 
that uh, hotel booked successfully and the the cab booking that cab booking booked successfully so these three interfaces are inherited or are the subsystem of uh, their this uh, travel package system so we have this simplified interface for the customer so we have to build a concrete class for this this is the concrete class and we have the instance of all these interfaces uh, like cab booking hotel booking and flight booking and and at last we printed that if all these three instances are mentioned so we can say the travel package booked su successfully so the customer only interacts with this travel package uh, this travel package facade so you can here see that customer customer only interact with the facade and select my package and uh, this is implemented through the travel package uh, concrete class and my package dot book it means it books all the functionality of the system here we can see the cab booked successfully hotel booked successfully flight booked successfully and travel package booked successfully so it means uh, you hide the complexity and uh, the you uh, you have only to create a design to des design the interface and implement the interface one or more classes create the facade class and wrap the classes that implement the interface and we use facade class to access the subsystem if you are a, if you have any question in this lecture you can put them in the comment section and i will answer those questions if you are new here then please like subscribe and share our lecture series